In Tableau 2020.3, Tableau have added the ability to do spatial unions. So you can essentially bring two shapefiles of a similar type together. Now it's important to remember that they have to be of a similar type. So you can't, for example, um, take like a GeoJSON uh, and uh, union it with like a KML um, sort of shape file. You have to make sure they're of the same type. Um, but apart from that, it's a pretty cool feature. Let's just uh, hop into Tableau and I'll show you how that works. So uh, I'm going to connect to the spatial connection. So it's always like a little bit of a habitual thing. I always want to jump to some sort of thing like Excel because I'm used to joining spatial data to actual data. But in this case, I'm just going to union two files. So let's take a uh, look and see how that works. If I go to my desktop and I go to my 2020.3 folder, I have some sample files and not in that folder. I have them over here actually. And I have two sets of geometry data from the United States. Now, what I've done is I've actually downloaded these two uh, files separately, and I'll put a link to these in the notes below. Um, but actually, if I go into this top directory, you'll see that there's two shape files. Now, for this to work, they do need to be in the same folder. You have to move everything related to the shape file into the same directory. You'll notice if I go back one and I go into my second one, there's no shape file there because I have to move it into the same directory. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why this is, but um, I think it's part of the way that it works. If you try and do it with relationships, I think relationships gets in the way of you trying to do the union. So if they're in the same folder, it just seems to work. Uh, I can't explain it. But if I connect to this first one here, what you'll see is it behaves a bit like a CSV where it actually searches the whole directory and you can see both uh, shape files available to us there. And it's treating the folder as like a database and each file, shape file as like a table. So there we have it. We have the two different types of spatial files. And just for context, one is at a congressional district level and another one is at a county level. And obviously those two fall into each other. So the um, counties are actually part of the congressional districts, if that makes sense. So you should be able to see a nice clean overlay where they cut off. So let's go ahead and actually make this a union. So what we can do is we can convert this to a union just by clicking that down arrow, convert to a union, and we get this a visual interface here. And then the next thing we do is we simply drag the other file. So at the moment, we've got the CD116 file in there. I'm going to go ahead and grab the county uh, file in there. So it's essentially 116 congressional districts. That's why it's 116. And um, there's, I don't know how many counties they are, but it's not in the file name. So that's now working. That's great. Click OK. And now it's union those two files because they work in exactly the same format. It's perfectly clean union. And you also get the new column that you're typically used to get in the union with the table name over here on the right hand side. So that's a really nice uh, addition because now when we go to visualize things, we have the two data sets available to us. And if I just bring the table name there, you can see the information. Now, Obviously, what you want to do is visualize this information. So let's just go ahead and double click geometry. And you'll notice that it actually maps everything, everything in the data set. And what you won't notice is that there's actually two layers of information on top of each other. What I have to do is I have to bring the table name onto color, and then you'll actually start to see a little bit of separation. If I uh, go pan over here this way and I just zoom into the map, you can actually see them uh, a little bit uh, above each other. So you can just see the light blue um, sort of lines in and amongst the, um, the uh, congressional district. So you can see the counties um, underneath the congressional districts. And if I actually select the orange one, you can see the uh, the county is coming up, and if I select the blue ones, you see the congressional districts. And so that's a really quick guide on how to union those two files. This is kind of cool because what it allows you to do is you can even create something like a set action to allow someone to switch between different levels of detail um, in the visualization and also in the actual data. So you could sort of start a story at the congressional district level then maybe zoom into one particular congressional district and actually start to understand how those two work together. You could also maybe even do things like um, uh, spatial overlaps to try and understand which one sits in, in which area and then try and put that information into your data. So Tableau has that intelligence built into the data source. But that's pretty much it. That's a little showcase of the new spatial union capabilities in 2020.3. If you've enjoyed this video, as always, be sure to check out some of the other videos on the channel, as well as this playlist on 2020.3. And always let us know what we can do to improve the videos. If there's content we're missing, be sure to let us know. And I'll catch you in the next video.